It's wonderful because so many kids don't have people to turn to or their parents to turn to. I think that it's great for anybody that doesn't have that family, that does need somebody to talk to. To the people of the Trevor Project, you are my heroes. How did Trevor go from being a, a film to becoming a nonprofit organization called The Trevor Project? We had the idea that it would be so great if we could get the piece on television. We knew it could be of great service. The fact that it won an Academy Award was immensely helpful, but we also knew it needed a celebrity tie-in. And Randy had a contact to Ellen. Hi, I'm Ellen DeGeneres, and I would like you to uh, watch this next movie. Uh, please, because uh, I think it's great. It really was at that point that we knew the film was going to be on air that the Trevor Project was born. Trevor, the project, you know, turned into this wonderful educational experience and this opportunity for uh, young people to have a place to call. Trevor Helpline, this is Brooke. Almost a, a face of family for young young people who are questioning. The Trevor Project operates the only nationwide, round-the-clock, crisis and suicide prevention helpline for gay and questioning youth. We've answered over 100,000 calls. We have literally saved lives. We've performed rescues and stopped people from killing themselves. Sadly, suicide is the third leading cause of death for young people. That's ages 16 to 24. For gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, and questioning teens, they're four times as likely to attempt suicide than their heterosexual peers. Most of our calls come from right here, in this region here. We just named this call center after our late founder, Randy Stone. We have about 90 helpline counselors between Los Angeles and New York, and, and several more in Washington, D.C. Kids feel safe calling Trevor because it's an anonymous person on the other end, and it's important that kids can talk to someone without being judged. I'm so moved by the wonder in their voice that there's actually someone gay on the other end, or even just someone on the other end listening who they can talk to about things that they just can't talk to anybody else. The Trevor Project has a wonderful resource database. It's available on our main website to youth who may not want to call the helpline. Dear Trevor is one of the unique programs. Youth can write in and pose a question to us and we'll provide a response. Dear Trevor, if I was to tell people that I'm gay, I know that I would lose 90% of all Dear my friends. Dear Trevor, sometimes I cry and yell at God. By making me gay, he is sentencing me to a life Dear in Trevor, hell. Dear Trevor, do you think it is better to live a life of pain than to live no life at all? We're also launching Trevor Space, and Trevor Space is an online community for gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender youth. It is basically MySpace or Facebook for queer kids. I feel that the great thing that the Trevor Project has done, and in fact the great thing that Trevor, the film, has done, is to be able to connect people with that time and that yearning for life. And by connecting older gays and lesbians with that part of themselves, they feel more emboldened to reach back to a younger generation and just and, and give a leg up. The Trevor mission really is an opportunity, I think, for all of us to look back on our lives and say, how can we give back to young people? The more the word gets out about the Trevor Org and the Trevor Helpline, the more calls we're getting. And it's only growing, it's not getting smaller. The Randy Stone call centers will be supported forever. For all of us, that's an incredible legacy. The fact that it has survived for 10 years and the fact that it has grown is because we never wavered from our original mission, which was to reach out into America and create a connection to people who were suffering, a life-to-life -life connection, and we've never wavered from that. I mean, is there anything greater than being able to save hundreds of thousands of lives or tens of thousands or even more? In the course of our lives, if we get to do that, yeah, that's, that's the best.